Basis of Scientific Research, Lecture 11, Writing Thesis, Part 2. Outline, Recommendations, Acknowledgements, References, List of Equipment, Cross-Cutting Issues, Writing for an Audience, Order of Writing, Types of Errors, Editing. So, recommendations. Include when appropriate most of the time, remedial action to solve the problem, further research to fill in gaps in our understanding, directions for further investigations on these or related topics, is for acknowledgement, advises or and anyone who helped you, technically including material supplies, intellectually assistance, advice, financially, for example, department support, travel grants, etc. References Cite all ideas, concepts, text, data that you are not your own. If you make a statement, back it up with your own data or reference. All references cited in the text must be listed. Cite single author references by the surname of the author, followed by date of the publication in parentheses. Cite double author references by the surnames of both authors, followed by date of the publication, and more than double author references by the surname of the first author, followed by an L, then the date of the publication. Don't use footnotes. List all references cited in the text in alphabetical order using the following format for different types of material. It is acceptable to put the initials of the individual authors behind their last names. Appendices. Include all your data in the appendix. Reference data materials not easily available. These are used as a resource by the department and other students. Tables where more than one two pages. Calculations where more than one two pages. And you may include a key article as appendix. If you consulted a large number of references but did not cite them all, you might want to include a list of additional resource material. List of equipment used for an experiment or details of complicated procedures. No figures and tables, including captions, should be embedded in the text and not in the appendix unless they are more than one two pages and are not critical to your argument. Cross cutting, cutting issues. We are looking for a critical analysis. We want you to answer a scientific question or hypothesis. We would like you to gather evidence from various sources to allow you to make interpretations and judgments. Your approach method should be carefully designed to come to closure. Your results should be clearly defined and discussed in the context of your topic. Relevant literature should be cited. You should place your analysis in a broadcast, broader context and highlight the implications regional global of your work. We are looking for a well-reasoned reasoned line of argument from your Initial question, compilation of relevant evidence, setting data in a general universal context, and finally making a judgment based on your analysis. Your thesis should be clearly written and in the format described. Planning ahead your tables. If or at all possible, start your thesis research during the summer between your junior and senior years. The best strategy is to pick a project that you are interested in, but also that a faculty member or profession, professional is working on. If you are unsure about the selection of a project, so try to connect. Then, scheming and writing for an audience. What's your audience? Researchers working in analogous field areas elsewhere in the world, other deep sea fans, etc. Research is working in a field area but with different techniques and working in the same interval of geologic time where in the, in the world. All other research is using the same technique you have used. If your study encompasses an active process, research is working on the same process in the ancient record. So, people applying earth science to uh, social, social problems uh, will, who will try to, to understand your paper potential reviews of your manuscript or your thesis committee. Scheming reading. Because of the literature explosion, papers were skimmed and read. 
So skimming involves reading the abstract and looking at the figures and capture captions, figure captions. Therefore, you should construct your paper so that it can be understood by skimming conclusions as written in your abstract can be understood by study of the figures and captions. The text fills out the details of the more interested reader. Order of writing. First, organize your thesis in the same order as it presented. The following gives you one idea how to proceed. So, make your figures to illustrate your argument. Think skimming. The main sections are background to the argument, intro, describing the information to be used in the argument, and making points about them, observations, connecting the points, regarding into info, analysis, summing up conclusions. Outline the main elements, sections and subsections. Begin writing, choosing options in the following hierarchy, paragraphs, sentences and words. Another approach. Write up a preliminary version of the background section first. It will serve as the basis for the introduction of your final paper. As you collect data, write up the method section. It's much easier to do this right after you have collected the idea. When you have some data, start making plots and tables of the data. It will help you to visualize the data and to see gaps in your data collection. If time permits, you should go back and fill in the gaps. You are finished when you have a set of plots that show a definite trend or lack of a trend. Be sure to make adequate statistics tests of your results. Once you have complete set of plots and statistical tests, arrange the plots and tablets in logical order. Write figure captions for plots and tables. As much as possible, the captions should stand alone in explaining the plots and tables. Many scientists read only the abstract figures, figure captions, tables, and conclusions of a paper. Be sure that your figures, tables, and captions are well labeled and well documented. So. Once your plots and tables are complete, write the results section. Writing this section requires extreme discipline. You must describe your results but not interpret them. Be factual and orderly in this section, but try not to be too dry. If you can't come up with a good cartoon schematic showing your ideas, many papers are cited in the literature because they have a good cartoon that subsequent authors would like to use or modify. In writing the discussion session, be sure to adequately discuss the work of other authors who collected data of the same or related scientific questions. Be sure to discuss how their work is relevant to your work. If there were flaws in the methodology, this is the place you discuss it. After you have discussed the data, you can write the conclusion section. In this section, you take the ideas that were mentioned in the discussion and try to come to some closure. If some hypothesis can be ruled out as a result of the work, say so. The final section in the paper is a recommendation section. This is really the end of the conclusion section in a scientific paper. Make recommendations for further research or policy actions in this section. After you have finished the recommendation, Look back at your original introduction. Your introduction should be set the stage for the conclusions of the paper by laying out the ideas that you will test in this paper. So you must write your abstract last. As for figures and tables, the actual figures and tables should be embedded inserted in the text, generally on the page following the page where the figures table is first cited in the text. All figures and tables should be numbered and cited consequently in the text as figure 1, 2, etc. You are encouraged to make your own figures, including cartoons, schematics or sketches that illustrate the processes that you discuss. Writing style. So, academic articles are always to be written in the third person in the passive voice, as example, you might write an experiment was carried out to test. You examine your figures with these questions in mind. Is the figure self-explanatory? Well, are your axes labeled and the same indicated? Could chart links be eliminated? Could not data be eliminated?
could redundant data ink be eliminated? Could data density be increased by eliminating non-data bearing space? Does the figure, figure distort the data in and why? Are the data presented in the text? Does the figure caption guide the reader's eye to the take-home lesson of the figure? Figures should be oriented vertically in portrait mode wherever possible. If you must orient them horizontally, the landscape mode orient them so that you can read them from the right, not from the left where the binding will be, and tying the text to the data. Show them, don't just tell them. Ideally, every result claimed in the text should be documented with data, usually data presented in tables and figures. If there are no data provided to the given a supported statement or result of observation, consider adding more data or deleting the unsupported observation. Assess whether the data supports the textual statement, contradict it, or are the data insufficient to prove or refute the textual statement, or support the textual, textual statement but not presented in such a way that you can be sure you are seeing the same phenomena in the data. And giving credit, how does one fairly and accurately indicate who has made that contributions towards the result interpretation by referencing authorship and acknowledgement? And different types of errors. Concept ideas without attribution, concept ideas with sloppy attribution, quotation marks without with attribution, Check references carefully and reread reference works prior to publication. The first time you read something, you will consciously remember some things, but may subsequently take it other aspects. Copy editing. Proofread your thesis a few times. Check your spelling. Spell checks. Checkers are useful for initial checking. So content editing. So it should be logic, repetition, relevance, style, and avoiding ambiguity. Do not allow run-on sentences to sneak into your writing. Try semicolons. Avoid nested clauses phrases. Avoid clauses or phrases with more than two ideas in them. Do not use double negatives. And do not use dangling participles. Make sure that the antecedent for every pronoun it these those it's a crystal clear. Ensure that subject and verb agree in number, singular versus plural. Be especially careful with compound ad sub subjects. Be especially careful with subject verb agreement within clauses. Avoid qualitative adjectives when describing concepts that are quantitatable. Avoid noun strings. Do not use unexplained acronyms. Spell out all acronyms for the first time you use them. Thesis length. Avoid unnecessary repetition and irrelevant tangents. Necessary repetition. The main theme should be developed in the introduction as a motivation of working hypothesis. The tables for repetitive information. And use only sufficient background material to permit the reader to understand your story. Not every paper you've ever written on the subject. Use figure captions effectively. Don't describe the contents of the figures in the text item by item. And delete observations or results that are mentioned in the text for which you have not shown data. Delete conclusions that are not directly supported by your observations or results and that are inconclusive. Conclusive. That peripherally related to your new results or observations.